Hi friends, welcome back. Jen here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am in the thick of my T's testing studying and I wanted to give you guys kind of a breakdown of what I do to study. Um, I, I have several methods and I would like to share them with you. Um, the number one thing that I think we all need for T's testing is the ATI T's testing handbook. This book is the Bible for T's. Um, I know McGraw-Hill has one, but come on, this is the company that puts out the test. I don't think it's going to get more accurate than this. Um, I personally use this. Okay, so what is the first thing that I did for the T's testing? I got familiar with my book. I opened my book up and I started flagging everything that I thought needed to be um, tagged and flashcarded. I do this for flashcard purposes. To be honest, it was mostly science sections that I that I tagged, but that's okay. Um, do I think science is going to be my subject that I'm going to have the hardest time with? No. Math is going to be the, the subject that I have the most difficulty with, but science has a lot of memorization. and you know, that takes time. Memorizing 600 terms about the body system, the circulatory system. One second. Sorry, my son was about to come out. I had to remind him I'm in the middle of a video. Um, that, so, okay, back to what I was saying. Um, science has a lot of terms to memorize. You're memorizing body systems. You're, mem you're memorizing chemistry, cellular, um, you know, cellular cellular, different cells, you know, you're memorizing things on a cellular level. So it takes the memorization. And in order to do that, I personally, I live by flashcards, flashcards. This isn't, um, I mean, embryo, RNA, DNA. Um, these are things that we know we, it, okay. So look at it. If you, these are things that we know. We just need to memorize them. We need to be updated on them. Okay, so I went through my book, I noted everything that needed flashcards, and I made flashcards for them. What's the next thing I did? I, so I kind of wrote out what I do here. I am visual. I have to see things put in order, and then I have to see them through. Um, I consider myself pretty intellectual, um, study savvy. I know how to study. So I made Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Kind of fold this over for you so you can see. Monday, tu Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I keep Sunday free because you need to give your brain a break. You are going to wear out. You're going to burn out if you don't give your brain a break. It needs, just like we need to sleep at nighttime to rejuvenate, we need to give our brain a break from studying. So Sundays, I don't study on Sundays unless I absolutely have to for like a test. Now I need you guys to keep in mind that I am also in the middle of a semester, a full semester of, um, of classes at my local community college. These are prerequisites for my nursing program. Um, it's actually, these are prerequisites for a register, uh, an RN program. I am going into an LVN program. This is a personal choice that um, fits for my life and I will be bridging over after in, pro I'll probably be doing an LVN to BSN program afterwards. Um, but I do wanna gain that nursing experience so I, Mondays I do science flashcards and reading comprehension. So I don't just use flashcards though, um, but I do, I use these a lot. I mean, these are good for when I'm on the go, when I'm sitting with my children, when I'm cooking dinner, when I'm getting ready. I mean, I can easily pull out these flashcards and these are not all of them, I'm not done. Um, but I have found a couple resources that I thought I would share with you guys um, regarding science. Um, I found a website called Brightstorm. It's it's a it's actually a YouTube channel here on YouTube. It's called Brightstorm for Science. Brightstorm for Science, and um, they I mean there is nothing better than having a review of your anatomy and physiology class, your chemistry your your chemistry class. Um, there's nothing better. And so this guy sits in front of, is on your computer helping you basically understand the systematics of anatomy, physiology, and, and chemistry. I mean, he goes over cell, cell division, um, cell membranes, or, or organelles and lipids. These are stuff we need to know. Um, and the best part is they are T's specific, T's five testing specific. 
That's what I love about it. Tuesday, I do math problems and science flashcards. Um, for math, I do go over that. Okay, so let me explain. I go over the math questions that are in the book, but I basically go over the concepts in the book, and then I take those concepts and I go on YouTube, and I find, and I have found some great resources on YouTube. Um, I have to see what's happening. I need someone to show me. It's been a minute since I've done algebra, since I've added and subtracted um, fractions. I need, I need that review. So I have found Khan Academy, K-H-A-N Academy, right here on YouTube. Um, Keshwani, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Keshwani Prep. The, they both have T's five testing specific um, review. So, I mean, Keshwani especially, this Keshwani guy especially, um, I was on there, we were doing an adding and subtracting fractions problem and the way my brain worked it out came to a different answer. And before I could even ask the question in my head, why is that wrong, he answered it for me. He was like, look, uh, it can be understandable that you bring, that, that the question is, that, that the answer would be this and this is what you did wrong. Um, so he goes over specific questions that are in the T's test, which I really, really enjoy. I really, I really like that. Wednesday, English and reading comp composition. So the best thing that you can do for English, okay, let me start with reading comprehension. If you are literate enough to have come this far in school and to be this close to being accepted into a nursing program, you are literate enough to read the passages inside the ATI book and follow them. How I study for the reading comprehension portion is literally going over the passages, answering the questions, um, looking in the back of the book, seeing if my questions are right, and the back of the book will tell you if it's right, if it's wrong, what, if it's right, it's right, if it's wrong, what you did wrong, and why it's right. Well, obviously not what you did wrong, but it will tell you why this answer is correct. And based on that answer, you should be able to understand what you did wrong. I mean, it's reading comprehension, straightforward. It's what it is. It is what it is. Read the passages, answer the questions, you will get it. You can do it. Reading comprehension is self-explanatory. But English, um, I, I consider myself a proficient English student. I've always placed pretty high on AccuPlacer tests for English. But what you need to realize, the English portion of it, you need to know the structure of a sentence. We're talking nouns, person, place, and thing, person, place, or thing, adverbs, verbs, how they tie together, how one helps the other, um, prepositions, comma splices, um, stuff like that. And I found a really good website for those of you who find yourself. So let's say you want to know in what scenario a semicolon, semicolon usage would be necessary. Um, I found Mometrics Test Prep here, right here on YouTube, M-O-M-E-T-R-I-X. And you guys, I will, I will put all these below. I will put all of these links below. Mometrics Test Prep, he tells you, he go, he'll go over sentence usage and when it's appropriate to the semicolon, apostrophe, asterisk, all that. Because you need to know that for the test. Um, you, that's one of those things they expect, they, they want you to be proficient in those areas. Um, perfect, okay, so math problems, English. Did I go over these? The best thing about these websites is that they are T's specific. They're not just, um, you know, they're not just videos that help you with math. They're not just videos that help you with English. They are specific to the T's testing and will help you specifically get these done. Um, I study six days a week for about two hours a day on top of my on top of my everyday classes. I'm taking 12 units right now, I'm full time. Um, I need to make it known that I am a mom, I have three children, I'm married. I believe it would be a different situation if I were not married, if I was a single mother, but I am not. I do have the support of my husband, but that does not, that does not mean to say that I have all this free time on my hands. I'm a working mother, I work 32 hours a week, I have three children, I'm going to be turning 30 soon, um, I 
and doing it. I'm living proof that you can do this. You can study for your test, your nursing entrance exams, you can get into nursing school, you can do it. I find that you need to be really organized to do it, but you can do it. I was actually filming this video about an hour ago and I looked at the time and I had to rank, pick up my children. I have a lot of interruptions like that and they're not interruptions as much as they are just my life, but you can do it. And I, I wanted to share these um, websites with you, these, these YouTube pages. I find them really helpful. I hope they can help you as much as they've helped me. Um, best of luck on your teas and I will be back with you guys soon. Um, I'll link all the, the pages below. And um, like I said, Monday through Saturday, give yourself Sunday off if you can. You know, give it, give it to yourself. Oh, should I add that you please don't start studying a week before your test and please give yourself a good month to study. And I feel I need to add that these are just, these are, these are ways that have helped me. I cannot guarantee they will help you, but I don't see how you can go wrong if you try the best you can to study for this test and if you are proficient in your studying and you are understanding of the material, there's no way that you cannot um, get a good score on this, on this test. So good luck to you guys and once again, Jen, Jen loves nursing. Bye guys, I'll see you later.